Song of Solomon, Chapter 6. Whether is thy beloved. That's interesting. Because Song of Solomon is Solomon and his bride, his bride and Solomon. And when you read and we study the book of Solomon, a Song of Solomon, we see the daughters of Jerusalem as a third character. Whether is thy beloved, that's neither the groom, Solomon, or Jesus, that's neither the bride or the church. The beloved is Jesus or the, or the bride. Thy beloved, that's the nation of Israel crying out, Where, where's your beloved? Where's your Jesus? That's a second advent passage there. And it's, it's interesting that the fact is that beloved is also the name given to the apostle John, the, be, the beloved apostle who writes to us the gospel of John, the closest gospel we have to the church, not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They're all Jewish. When you got a church that runs to Matthew, you don't have a proper dispensationalist church. They have not rightly divined, but the Gospel of John is the closest to the church age, and he is the instrument of the pen of the writer of the Holy Spirit by Jesus Christ to pen to us. The book of Revelation. And the marvelous book, epistles of 1st and 2nd, 3rd John. So, whether is thy beloved gone? Is the nation Israel reaching out saying, where's Jesus? And that's not the church age today. And that's not an Old Testament saint looking forward to the cross of Jesus Christ. Okay? O thou fairest among women, that is Israel speaking to the bride of Jesus Christ. We ain't the fairest of the women in the church age today. Not in the lives of seeing church age. Not when we are a church age. All are welcome. That's spotted, corrupted church. Whether it's thy beloved Jesus and in the instrument of the Song of Solomon, Solomon, where is thy beloved turned aside? That's a church age in the tribulation period. That we may seek him with thee, with the church. Listen, the, the, the Jew itself Wants nothing to do with the Gentile. Ask Jonah. Ask Peter before his revelation at Cornelius' house. I want you to go with those Gentiles. Uh-uh. I'm going to go as far as Tarshish. I want you to go with the Gentile. Not me, Lord. I'm not going to go anywhere unclean. So, as soon as, as the Bride is to be witnessing of the testimonies of the work of Jesus Christ going all the world and preach the gospel about Jesus Christ and not about our church and our pastor and how good we are. We are supposed to be ambassadors of the Messiah to the nation of Israel. And your church building, your church assembly is not going to do that. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. It didn't say go in all the world and bring them in. You know, come to think about, you know, bring them in, bring them in. I think that song has been perverted by the churches. My beloved, this is the bride thou speaking. The bride is answering to the Jew. My beloved has gone down into the garden to the bed of spices to feed in the gardens, plural, to the gathering of lilies. And we've been reading about that garden in the previous chapters. We know right now that Jesus Christ is seated at the, at the right hand of the Father. I am my beloved, that's the church. And my beloved is mine, that's Jesus. He feedeth among the lilies, not the lilies. So what's the church do? At Easter time, we bring lilies in. Just twist, and twist the scriptures all about. 
When the nation of Israel cries out, where is your beloved? Where is your savior? Where is your Jesus? The church is supposed to respond with the scriptures. That woman at the well went and told the people of her city, I found the Messiah. She didn't go back. I found the church. I have a movie. She says, I found the Messiah. That's the job of the Christian today. We have found a savior to the world, to the, to the Gentile, to the, to the Israelite. We have found the Messiah. Thou art beautiful. Now, this is the bridegroom speaking to us about the bride. And this is a, a second giving from Song, so Song of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. This is re-given. This is a verily, verily. It's important to make sure. This is in Song of Solomon 4, 1, 2, and 3. It's important. Many times you find the tabernacle of Moses many times written about. You find all the miracles and all the healings and all the, the devils cast out, never demons, throughout the, the, the gospel. You find multiple times Paul tells us of his own personal testimony of meeting Jesus. We find multiple times of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We find multiple times of the trial of Jesus Christ. We find multiple times about the sign that hung upon the, the above the head of Jesus. And only once we find the birth of Jesus. Quite interesting. Throughout the scriptures, we find Passover, 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 Passover. And John gives us the date of three and a half years of the ministry of Jesus Christ. To tell us that Jesus Christ was 33 and a half years old, had three and a half years of the ministry by the Passovers. And we find one Easter in the Bible. And the church is Easter and Christmas. Those are the two times that people come out to church. Ding-a-ling, 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 ding-a-ling. <laughs> Shouldn't that be a red flag? Thou art beautiful, my love, of Tartar or Tyrus. Comely, that's beautiful, that's sweet. As Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a loving, great place in the eyes of God. Not today, though. It will be. Terrible as the army with banners. That's Joel chapter 2. That's the church coming back, Revelation chapter 19. And I guarantee that banner is a flag. It's not going to be the stars and stripes of America. Israel. Each of the 12 tribes, I think it's numbers, they had their banners that they flew under. They had 12 tribes, they had their banners, and then they were divided into north, south, east, and west around the tabernacle with their banners. And there would be anything of the banner of, of, the, of, the, of the bride would be the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of God, something like that. Turn away thy eyes from me, for they have overcome me. Thy hair is a flock of goats, and we studied early in chapter 4, that's black. That appear on Gilead. This is the description of the bride when she's in glory in New Jerusalem. We're going to have black hair. We read that Jesus has black hair. The thy teeth are the flock of sheep. This is Song of Solomon chapter 4. This is important. This is more important than the Christmas and celebration, the birth of Jesus. This is what we look like. The church knows more of the paganism of Christmas and Easter than they know about their bride and know about what we're going to look like in glory. What are we going to look like in glory? In the Bible, study that show they so for proof unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly divine the word of truth. I know, I know the names of, of the 12 reindeer of, of Saint, Satan Claus. But the church has no idea who the 12 tribes of Israel is. 
I know all the rites of Easter, but we can't name the 12 apostles of the Lamb. My children are looking for Santa Claus to come. They're being good for Satan Claus, but they don't have no eyes for Jesus. You better believe I have to say these words today in 2020. The teeth of the flock of sheep, which are going up from washing, they've been br just brushing the teeth in the Bible. Parents, you want to show your children brushing your teeth in the Bible, there's chapter 4 and chapter 6. Clean and white. You got dentures like I have? Are you going to throw away those dentures one day? You're going to get a new set of teeth. Are you missing teeth? Look, look. Where everyone beareth twins, there is not one barren among them. Are you missing teeth? One day you're going to get all your teeth if you're washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. There will not be any spots in your mouth where your teeth was supposed to be. They will all be there. You'll have all your teeth. They'll be all clean. And we won't need to wash our teeth in glory. They'll be clear and white and full and correct. You will have a dentist dream of all dreams. And a dentist may be in glory, but we won't need his services no more. There are none missing. As a piece of pomegranate are in thy temples. Reddish, we looked at that, reddish purple. Closer to a brownish. Within thy locks, your hair. We're going we're gonna to have, we're gonna have long hair. Try telling that to your Baptist church. Men are not to have long hair. I know, because we're the bride. We're going to have long hair one day. Mm -hmm. My computer is acting up. There are, I don't understand verse 8. I'm going to read it. I'm going to give you what I think, and what I think doesn't mean nothing. There are three score queens, 60 queens. Four score concubines, 80 concubines. They're married, but they're not married, but they're married. And virgins without number. The church, though she's never called a queen. Israel, though Israel's never called a, a concubine because she is the bride. Of, and angels. I know, I believe it's the book of Revelation. There's, there's angels without number. Or John may even say a great host without number. Verse 8. I threw my three cents in there. You can throw it in a garbage can. It don't make no it don't mean nothing because it's my word. Other than that, I would say, I don't know. My dove. Now, when Jesus Christ was baptized, the Holy Spirit came down like a dove. Jesus Christ turns to his bride and says, my dove. The blackbird never came back to the ark. Though I heard someone say it did. No, it didn't. The white dove came back with an olive leaf in her beak. You're going to say anything, the, dove, the dove's not the Holy Spirit. It's the bride of Jesus Christ. There it is. There's a bridegroom speaking. Listen, isn't it quite interesting? Go back to Song of Solomon chapter 1. What color is a dove? And look at verse 5, 1, 5. I am black but comely. The bride that's right into the Song of Sol Solomon is colored. And Jesus says, my dove. The first man to be saved as the church is to be saved today was an Ethiopian eunuch. He was colored. And when we are washed and made clean at the judgment seat of Christ, we are made as white as snow, the Bible says. Black lives matter become white lives matter. Dove, a white bird. The blackbird never came back. So you can't twist the scriptures for your sake because then you twist it all about.
That's the danger. My dove, my undefiled. Is that the church age today when you read the end of Revelation chapter 3, the last of the same church age? I don't think so. This has got to be after the judgment seat of Christ. Then we become undefiled. That's definitely not the lie to see church aid, my undefiled. It's but one. There's seven church age periods. This is after the judgment seat of Christ. She's the only one of her mother. That's quite interesting because the church doesn't have a mother. We are like Adam and Eve. We were not born of a mother. We were born of God, the Father. But this is, you can't take a type all the way 100%. This is, a, this is Solomon writing to his bride. You're, you're the best one of your mother. You're the only one your mother ever had. And as far as the church, we don't come from a mother. Now, as far as the Catholic church, we come from Mary, Mother Mary. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. That's not Mary. And you can't say it's Mary because they say Mary had no other children and this, <laughs> it's all nonsense. She's a choice one of her that, of, of her that bear her. Well, we're the choice one of God by Jesus Christ. We are chosen by Jesus Christ. We have been elected by Jesus Christ. And there's been no voter, voter fraud in the choosing of his bride. People hate me, and oh well. The daughters saw thee. Well, look at chapter 1, verse 1. Um, I think it's 1. Oh, wait a minute. No, not chapter 1. Uh, look at verse 8. Uh, chapter 5, verse 8. I charge you, old daughters of Jerusalem. The daughters saw her, that's Israel, looking at the bride of Jesus Christ and blessed her. That's the second coming. That's the second advent. When we are riding behind Jesus Christ on mules, Rahab and her family in the house of the wall of Jericho, when the nation of Israel came and got her, glory to God, they're here, we're saved. That is going to be switched. It's going to be a Jew that's inside the house of the walls and the Gentiles are going to come and rest. Joshua, Jehovah saves. Jesus, Jehovah saves. That Old Testament's coming alive again. But many Christians don't read the Old Testament. Boy, they're going to be in a great shock. Gee, this sounds like one of the stories of the Bible. I think one of the tomatoes and the carrots and the, and the veggie is my stinky tail. Yeah, I know. God loves me. My mama loves me. My daughter loves me. You may not love me. God does. The daughter saw thee. That's Israel. Blessed her. Made her happy. Yay! The queens and the concubines. All right, so what I didn't know in verse 8, the queens are not the church. The concubines is not the church. And they, I'm going to say those virgins without number. I think Israel, I think, I think, I think Israel's in there somewhere. I think, I think, I think the Gentiles are somewhere in there. I think, I think, I think the angels are there somewhere, but I don't hold me to that. And that's just like saying, you know, the 10 virgins. That's not the church age. We're not, listen, we're not, that's not us. You're wrongly dividing the word of God and you will be found ashamed. I got written down Psalms 49, if you want to check it. Second Advent. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning? That's the coming of the second Advent. At, fair as the moon, that's Israel. Clear as the sun. That was, uh, was Jacob in Joseph's dream. And terrible as an army with banners. Joel chapter 2, uh, chapter 6, verse 4. That's the church. 
It's the second advent. And some foolish Christians say, I'm going to be holding the stars and stripes. No, you won't. Verse 11. I got to preach the truth, and I got to preach the way the God wants me to preach it. Don't like it? Verse 11 is a verse I call California. I went down to the Garden of Nuts to see the fruit to the valley. There's California in the Bible. You know that, did you? There's that garden again. To see whether the vine, that's Israel, flourished and the pomegranates budded. That's the second advent to a point. Seen the second advent in a little known book of Song of Solomon. And I don't want to put who the nuts and the fruits are, but the vine is Israel. The Gentiles have been grafted into that vine as Bible believers of being born again. But the natural vine, Paul tells us, is Israel. So with the vine being Israel, with the nuts and the fruits of the valley, I would assume they're unsaved people. But again, that's, I, I, I don't know. Don't believe that. <coughs> I'm throwing out my three cents. Or ever I was aware. This is Jesus speaking still in song, song, Solomon. My soul made me like the chariots of a mini Deb. I got Numbers chapter 7, verse 12. Then we got a paragraph and we close off the, the chapter. What's this paragraph do? I don't know. I don't. Return, return, verily, verily. Oh, Shulamite. That means peace. Return, return, verily, verily. That they may look upon thee. Who's the they? I don't know. Return that we may look upon thee. Is it speaking to Israel and we, the Christians, and Jesus? What will ye see in the Shulamite? As it were, the company of two armies. One army possibly could be the bride of Jesus Christ. Verse 4, verse 10, and Joel chapter 2, Revelation 19. Who's the other army? I don't know. The first one being the bride. That's a possibility. I don't know. Return, 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 return. Peace. The only peace that's coming and returning is by Jesus Christ coming to pick up Israel and bringing them into the land of, of God, the promised land, into Jerusalem. And return, return, return would be the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I'm going to say it again. The church is more interested in the first heaven and the birthday of Jesus. And miss totally the second advent. And, and if that Shulamite is Israel, return. Come on, Jesus, come. Come on, Messiah. And yet in the Gospel of John, chapter 4, there was a half-breed Jew that was more to receive the Messiah than the Jews themselves. And throughout the book of Psalms, there are places where the, where the, the psalmist writes, Come on, God, return. Come on, God, come get us. Come on, God, where's your salvation? Salvation's in the Messiah, Jesus Christ. That two armies? I don't know. Because there's no two armies at the second advent. Unless, again, just a three cents, you don't, can't, don't 
put your faith in stock. Maybe the two armies is the army of the bride of Jesus Christ and the armies of the nation of Israel, both of us coming across the river Jordan and into the promised land. You do know that throughout the wilderness of Moses and Joshua, Moses died in Joshua day. You do know that there were two groups of people. There were the Israelites and there were Egyptians. You do know that. And that's speculation and that's not sound doctrine. And if you don't believe that part, that's perfectly okay. And you got a better biblical, factual, according to the scriptures. Amen. Glory to God. Well, if you got something that another man has said, well, your error just as much as my error. 